Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks here at the Acer booth during IFA. It is day one and I had to come and check out this Acer 21X. On the press days, the display wasn't on and I was not down for covering something that I could not see. This display looks amazing. We have eye tracking up here. There are two GTX 1080 graphics cards inside, five heat pipes, or is it eight heat pipes? Eight heat pipes, five fans. We have a number pad on this side that actually flips around and turns into a touch pad. Right, this thing is eight kilos of holy shit madness. There's even a window up here where you can see the fan. Hold on, let me lift up these eight kilos so you can look at it more easily. It's so crazy. Wow, look at that fan go. Wow, this is unbelievable. So, the eye tracking's in here. It's by Toby, which is a very familiar company. For all of us, obviously, it has its latest seven gen core. I think it's 64 gigabytes of RAM. The keyboard changes colors. What's going on with this madness? Anyways, and oh, there's even lighting over here on the track pad. <laughs> Goodness gracious. So my thing is, I wanted to see how this bad boy closed because it's a curved display. It closes. So now if I shift it over here, you can see, oh, you can see that there's a definite curve to this display. So I think it's 2160 or 80 by 1080, right? So when you're gaming on it and you open it up, ugh, God, it feels very substantial. I don't know what I just did there. Let's close this. All right, experience eye tracking. Oh, here we go. So we're gonna experience a little bit of eye tracking. But the one thing that I was, I'll look at each dot until it explodes. All right. I'm doing it. Look at those dots explode. Okay. So extend my view. Use your eyes to see outside the box. Is there going to be a box or I just look around? Okay. Now, okay, I, I am spinning the view by looking around. I feel like I'm making a really weird face. I'm glad that you're looking at the display and not my face. Now I can look up and down. It works, it actually works. I'm looking around. So I can definitely see the advantage to having eye tracking in gaming. If you wanna look somewhere that you're shooting, this makes absolute sense. If you're playing a first person shooter, it's actually faster for you to look at your target than it is to like move the mouse around and maybe click. So anyways, I know there's a massive lineup like actually around the corner for this, but let me just take a look at the ports on the side here. Look at these big fans. We have high-end audio jacks, full-size SD card, um, two USB 3.0s, obviously. It's really heavy, and then around this side, give this little spin for you again, more USBs, Kensington Lock, because you don't want anyone to run away with this. Now, I have to, you have to get a quick look into the back there, Daniel. Look at these really big fans. We have massive display ports, full-size Ethernet, a USB, that's probably a Thunderbolt port right there. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm sure that that's probably what that is on a machine like this. So we're looking at release next year, and it's gonna cost you $5,000. I think they should take my money. Apparently I have $5,000 for a curved display gaming laptop. Nicole Scott here for Mobile Geeks, feeling really stressed because everyone wants their hands on time with this device.